Hi, unchanging relations or algebra. Let us do the fourth worksheet today. The first activity is find the sum of numbers from 1 to 50 and from 1 to 100 and write the algebraic expression for finding the sum of the first n consecutive natural numbers. Let us begin with this from 1 to 5. We have to have an easy way to find out the sum of the numbers. For that, look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These two sets from 1 to 5 form a rectangle. And how many blocks are arranged here altogether? Do you want to count it one by one? No. We need to count here 5 and here 5 plus 1, 6. So, the number of blocks is 5 into 6. That is 30 and the sum from 1 to 5 is half of 30. That is 50. So, the sum of numbers from 1 to 5 is 5 into 6 divided by 2. In the same way, we can do this also. The sum of numbers from 1 to 50 is, we can arrange 50 blocks like this and 50 plus 1 like this and the number of blocks in that rectangle would be 50 into 51 and the sum of the numbers from 1 to 50 would be 50 into 51 divided by 2. That is the sum is 50 into 51 divided by 2 that is equal to how will you multiply this? Multiply with this means we have to just put this 0 first. Then 51 into 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 fives are 25. 2550 divided by 2. And half of this is 1275. And the second question. In the same way we can find out from 1 to 100. 100 into? Yes, 101. 100 into 101 divided by 2 is equal to. Here, multiplication. Just put these two zeros with this 101. So, 10,100 divided by 2. Half of this is 5,050 while dividing. Don't forget to put this zero. Okay. Then write the algebraic expression for finding the sum of the first n consecutive natural numbers. 50 means 50 into 51. 100 means 100 into 101. The next number. n means n into. The next number is n plus 1. The sum is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 or we can write without this multiplication sign also we have to read it as n into n plus 1 itself. So no necessary that to put the this multiplication sign. Okay. n into n plus 1 divided by 2. The next activity is the sum and difference of some pairs of numbers are given below. Can you find the numbers? Sum is given, difference is given and which are the numbers? This one, if you are learning it, how to find it out, then you can perform this as a number magic in front of your friends. Okay, so let us learn it first. Let us take the first pair. 
the sum is 12 and difference is 8. We don't know the numbers. The, don't know the numbers, we can take it as x and y. So, let the numbers be x and y and one number must be greater than the other number. So, take x greater than y. Then it is given that the sum is 12. That is the numbers. Now the numbers are x and y. The sum is 12 means x plus y is equal to 12. And the difference is 8. That means x minus y is equal to 8. Then if we are adding these two. 12 plus 8 is 20 that we know. And what is this x plus x? Do you remember in the first class we have told about this chapatis, isn't it? One set of chapati plus another set of chapati. Two sets of chapati makes 2x. Number of chapati in this plate is x and the two plates 2x. Okay, so x plus x is 2x. 2x is equal to 12 plus 8 is equal to 20. And where is this y? y minus y equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to 20. So, twice a number is 20. So, x is equal to 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. x plus y is equal to 12 and x is equal to 10. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 that you know. So, y is equal to 2 or 12 minus 10 is y. y is equal to 2. And if you want to find out this y first, the smaller number first, we can do in this way also. x plus y is equal to 12. 12 minus subtract. x minus y is equal to 8. The difference is 8. Then find the difference of these two. x minus x is equal to 0. Then y minus of minus y. Minus of minus is plus. So y plus y. It would become y plus y. Minus of minus is plus. y plus y is equal to 2y. So, we will get it as 2y is equal to here 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. 2y is equal to 4. Again, we will get the same y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 2, x is 10. Okay. Then in the both the ways, we can find out the numbers. Next one is the sum is 140 and the difference is 18. Can you find the numbers? Looking at the question itself, the sum 140 and 80. 140 plus 80 is 220. 220, the half of 220, x is equal to 110. And 110 plus, yes, 30 is equal to 140. So, y is equal to 30. 140 minus 110 is 30. In the other way also, if you want to do, not necessary, okay. The numbers are 110 and 30. The sum is equal to 23 and difference is 11. The third question. 23 plus 11 is equal to 34 and x is half of 34 is equal to 17 and y is equal to 6. The numbers are 17 and 6. And the next one is the sum is 20 and difference is 5. So x plus y is equal to 20, x minus y is equal to 5. And here adding 2x is equal to 25. x is half of 25. 12 and a half. And y is equal to 7 and a half. 12 and a half plus 7 and a half is 20. So the numbers are 12 and a half and 7 and a half. And this question, 
The sum of the ages of two brothers is 18. The sum is 18. If the elder brother is 10 years older than the younger one, that means the difference is 10. Find the age of each of them. Let the age of the elder brother be X and the younger one be a Y. The sum is equal to 18. Difference is 10. We have to do in the same way as we have done before. So this is X plus X is 2X. 18 plus 10 is 28. And age of the elder brother is 14. And the younger one is 4. 14 plus 4 is 18. This x plus y is equal to 18. And 14 minus 4 is 10. We can verify our answer also. Isn't it? Then, last activity is, The cost of a bag and umbrella is 500 rupees. Bag and umbrella. The sum of numbers is 500. If the bag costs 200 rupees more than the umbrella, the difference is 200. What is the cost of the bag? X plus Y is 500. X minus Y is 200. So 2X is equal to 700. Cost X. Sir. So what is the answer? X is equal to half of 700. 350. And Y. 350 plus 150 is 500. So, the cost of the bag is 350. Okay. Bye.